Okay, we're going to start um, section 10.2. We're talking about arc measures. Um, find arc measures, and that is exactly how it's written in the book. I do not believe it's a typo. Um, but let's talk about this more parts of a circle. First, I have a central angle. The central angle of a circle is an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle. Um, I have a central angle right here because C is the um, center of the circle and it's also the vertex of the angle. The vertex is the tip of the angle. So this central angle we can have minor arcs. Arc formed when the central angle is less than 180 degrees. So we're naming this by minor arc AB because it's less than 180 degrees, because it's less than half, and um, it's a small arc or a minor arc, a major arc, an arc formed with a central angle that is greater than 180 degrees. It's named by their endpoints and a point on the arc. So this one is major arc ADB. Okay, I can't name it major arc AB because AB is just the minor arc. I have to add another point to it, so I go this way, ADB. You know, we could have another point. We can name it AFB. It just has to be another point on the arc. You need three points to name a major arc, two points to name a minor arc. And a semicircle is an arc with endpoints of a diameter. And if I drew a circle, let's call this circle Q. That's awful. Erase. Oh, it's not going to do it. Bummer. Let's do it that way. This is circle Q and O N M is the diameter. So this the semicircle is an arc with endpoints of a diameter. So the semicircle would be arc. N M or N M. Okay, it says it's named by um, endpoints and a point on the arc. Let's make that point bigger so it actually touches the arc. So this would be a semicircle N O M, N O M or M O N. <laughs> Key concept: measuring arcs. The measure of a minor arc is the measure of its central angle. The expression M A B is read the measure of arc AB. The measure of an entire circle is 360 degrees. The measure of a major arc is the difference between 360 and the measure of its related minor arc. So we would do 360 minus 50 in this case because the minor arc, the measure of the minor arc is 50. So the measure of the major arc is 360 minus 50 or 310. The measure of a semicircle is always 180. Find the measure of each arc of circle P, where RT is a diameter. RT is a diameter, so arc RS, so I have the measure of RS equals 110 degrees. Okay, the measure of RTS, so if RS is right here, RTS is the major arc. So the measure of arc RTS is 360 minus 110, or 250 degrees. All right, the measure of arc RST, which would be right here. If I know RT is a diameter, then RST would be a semicircle. The measure of arc RST is 180 degrees. Adjacent arcs. Two arcs of the same circle are adjacent if they have a common endpoint. You can add the measures of two adjacent arcs. So this is a postulate, the arc addition postulate, which we did an angle addition postulate too, where we had adjacent angles, we could add those two together and get the whole one. Same with arcs. The measure of an arc formed by two adjacent arcs is the sum of the measures of the two arcs. 
So the measure of arc ABC is the measure of arc AB plus BC. Example 2. Find measures of arcs. A recent survey asked teenagers if they would rather meet a famous musician, athlete, actor, inventor, or other person. The results are shown in the circle graph. Find the indicated arc measures. Okay, the first one is the measure of arc AC. AC is it's a minor arc, so it's going to be less than um, 180. So the measure of AC is 108 plus 29. 137 degrees. Okay, now the measure of arc ACD. So I'm going to start A, go through C, and hit D. 29 plus 108 plus 83. 220 degrees. The measure of angle ADC. A, this way, DC would be 79 plus 61 plus 83, 14, 22, 223 degrees. And the measure of angle of arc, sorry, E, B, D. E, have to go this way, B, D. Okay, rather than add up all those, can't we just do 360 minus 61? I think that works. Okay, you try. Identify the given arc as major arc, minor arc, or semicircle, and find the measure of the arc. First two questions. I'm pushing pause now. There you go. Next two. There you go. Next two. All right, if you're adding or subtracting, I need to see your work. That shouldn't be news to you in the fourth quarter of our year. <laughs> congruent circles and arcs. Two circles are congruent circles if they have the same radius. Two arcs are congruent arcs if they have the same measure, and they are arcs of the same circle or congruent circles. Identify congruent arcs. Tell whether the red arcs are congruent, explain why or why not. Um, in A, I have arc CD is congruent to arc EF because they are in the same circle. And the measure of arc CD is equal to the measure of arc EF. Those are my two reasons. B. Let's see. Um, arc RS and arc TU have the same measure, but they're not congruent. Because they are arcs of circles that aren't congruent. If you look at this, I have 
they're concentric because they have the same center, but the radius of this arc is smaller than the radius of, I'm sorry, the radius of this circle is smaller than the radius of that circle. So this arc and that arc are not congruent. All right, um, tell whether the red arcs are congruent. Explain why or why not. Um, with this one, I have arc Vx is, I did that again. I keep making that, <laughs> sorry. Arc Vx is congruent to arc Yz because um, the circles are congruent. You know, the circles are congruent because the radius, um, each radius is congruent to the other. So the measurement of arc Vx is equal to the measurement of arc Yz. Okay, you try. Tell whether the red arcs are congruent, explain why or why not. Push pause. Yes, those red arcs are congruent. Um, so I have arc AB is congruent to arc CD because the circles are congruent and the measurement of arc AB is equal to the measurement of arc CD. Okay, tell whether the red arcs are congruent, explain why or why not. Nope, um, the arc measurements are equal. So arc MN, the measurement of arc MN is equal to the measurement of arc PQ, but the circles are not congruent because the radius here is not equal to the radius there. The radii are different. Daily homework quiz, four pages. Number one, two, three, I lied, this is four, <laughs> one more, five. All right, good job.